The largest of the tar's victims were mammoths, Colombian mammoths. The biggest individual so far recovered weighed over four tons and stood over three and a half meters tall. Tar pits tell us much more than the identities of victims. They can bring to life the behavior of animals that have been dead for thousands of years. To do this, we must look very closely at their dental records. The shape of these teeth reveals that this was a grazer. Fragments of grass trapped in the ridges of the teeth confirm this. But grass is a poor quality food, so a large mammoth would have to chew its way through 200 kilograms of it every day, eating for up to 20 hours. In all probability, they were still chewing when they took their last fatal steps into the tar. La Brea has taught us much of what we know about the animals of Ice Age America. For example, there were four species of ground sloth 40,000 years ago. Remarkably, three of them have been unearthed here. No other site is so complete. They included Harland's ground sloth, a two-ton giant with bizarre armor-plated skin. It was almost as big as another of the tar's heavyweight victims. From three of the pits excavated, 14 skeletons of the American mastodon have been found. At first glance, they appear much like mammoths. But again, this shows the importance of examining the evidence carefully. For while they share many common characteristics, their dental record shows otherwise. The shape of these teeth shows they were browsers. They ate the leaves of trees and bushes, not grazers like mammoths. This apparently trivial point suggests that LA was once covered by large areas of trees as well as grass.